Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia and I'm up at the VK5 REX D-Star repeater site and I thought I'd give you a quick update video on what I've been doing up here uh, with the antenna situation. What we can see here is a notch style duplexer. This is marketed as a mobile duplexer. This is uh, one of the units you find on eBay. They tend to originate from China and uh, fairly reasonably priced. Most of the vendors will tune them for you before they ship them. Uh, I purchased this about a month and a half ago and what I've done with this is used it as the T-piece in uh, right at the antenna. That's the antenna feed in and got a high side, low side transmitter receiver. And that then feeds onto the existing cavities that I have. There's two on the transmit side over there, two on the receive side here. And each of these is fitted with a capacitor which in, in themselves have a notch on the transmit side. So the combination of the cavities which provide very good out of band rejection and the notch duplexer which has a very deep notch right on the opposite frequency on the transmit side there's a notch on the receiver frequency on the receiver side there's a notch on the transmit frequency and that seems to be the key which allows me to operate on one antenna with these cavities with um, extremely good performance and once again on the receiver side for extra protection I've got the six cavity DCI 1 MHz wide bandpass filter and also to offset some of the losses incurred by all of this uh, an advanced receiver research pre-amplifier right on the input of the uh, of the ICOM D-Star repeater. Haven't done any scientific tests yet all my tests have been real world tests and after all isn't that what matters what I found with my handheld radio I can operate on low power in a lot more places where I couldn't do it before. Um, I, my work is basically in a, a, a galvanised iron shed, you would say. Very RF tight. Not a good place to operate handheld mobile. It's around six and a half kilometres from here and I can operate anywhere inside that building on low power with my IC91 AD with no issues at all. I'm about to do some distance tests and see how far I can get on as little power as I can get on my radios and um, so in one word outstanding outstanding I, I can't believe how much this has changed the situation I used to run this with two antennas each of these inputs was fed with uh, vertically separated antennas I replaced that with this duplexer and a single antenna which is up at the top of the tower and it works 110%. Um, I don't want to sound uh, cliche or anything like that but this is working beautifully. It is a magical setup. Um, I haven't been able to detect any issues that would appear to be from descents. Um, when I get back from my distance tests I might come up here with some equipment and do some further tests but for now I'm really really happy. So on that I'll, uh, I'll sign off 7-3 for now. This is Michael, VK5ZEA, and we'll talk to you again soon.